Hello. Miss Holly was going to use this pumpkin to make some pumpkin pie. But some cute little animals around the area decided to take a bite first. But that's okay. Miss Holly loves to share. And I have another pumpkin that I can use to make the pumpkin pie. Miss Holly is wondering if some of the dear little animals in her yard might be hungry. Hello, Miss Holly is going to walk around to see which of the animals could have taken the large gigantic bite out of the pumpkin that was picked from the pumpkin patch. There are many wild animals around here, so I will look and investigate to see. This bear looks like he just ate something, the way that he is licking his lips. Fortunately, I was able to film him from my car. And just to let you know, bears usually hibernate by now, but it's been unusually warm here, although I think it might snow tomorrow. There are so many bears here in Connecticut that the neighbors put up the sign that says Bear Crossing because so many bears come by this way. There are lots of wild turkeys around here. Let's ask this turkey. Did you take a bite out of Miss Holly's pumpkin? It's okay if you did. I have an idea. Let's ask some of your friends. Hey you guys, did you have any of Miss Holly's pumpkin? I guess not. There are too many turkeys to share one small pumpkin, but maybe some of these turkeys had a few bites. Well, actually, it looks more like they're getting bird seed that may have fallen from our bird feeders. Here is a very lovely turkey just walking along. I hope he did get a bite of Miss Holly's pumpkin. I was able to capture this male turkey fanning his feathers to attract a female bird. I think he is too busy to be worrying about pumpkins right now. Perhaps this delightful deer decided to munch on the pumpkin. That's quite a large bite. Maybe it was a large animal, or it could have been this raccoon. But wait a minute, that looks more like watermelon than it does pumpkin. So I guess it wasn't the raccoon after all. Here is the cat right on the edge of the property, up in the tree, frolicking, looking around, climbing, and enjoying his life. He probably didn't eat the pumpkin. He's too busy climbing the tree, and maybe he's looking for birds. If you look carefully, you will see Ben the buck who is hidden in the trees and he's just relaxing. He's probably full because maybe Ben the buck had some pumpkin. Ben, hey Ben, Ben the buck. Well, it did snow last night, so it might be a little bit difficult to see more animals and who had a big bite of the pumpkin. These birds are easy to find in the snow because they love the bird seed. Look at the fox with his nose down in the snow. It looks like he might be searching for food. I hope that he can eat up the rest of Miss Holly's pumpkin. Yes, Mr. Fox, go ahead and eat the pumpkin. Here we are in the garden. It's the end of the fall season. So Miss Holly wants to show you around. So we have these lovely chimes and we have all kinds of vegetation. So we have some herbs and some parsley and we have eggplant and cucumber and lots of beautiful nutritional foods. And over here we have some corn that we gave to the deer. So the deer would get very hungry and we would allow them to have the corn in our garden because we love to share and the green beans. And then here's where we keep the lawnmowers and the tractor to keep the property up. We wanna have a nice clean property. And 
there's lots of broccoli and healthy foods for children to eat with their families. And as far as the pumpkin goes, it doesn't really matter who took the great big gigantic bite out of the pumpkin. We want to share our food with all the animals of the earth. Bye for now. Happy Thanksgiving from Miss Holly. Gobble, 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 gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble.